Hey guys, welcome to another episode of the VTech Academy. You're about to get schooled. All right, I'm here with Chris Sadowski from, from the YouTube channel, Chris Sadowski. How did you come up with that name? You know, I uh, spent a lot of time on the internet, uh, uh -huh. asked around, kind of did a little, one of those little random generator websites, yep. and you know, I found my name just works best. <laughs> Very good. <laughs> All right. Anyway, uh, we have Project RSXy here today, and uh, I'll tell you, it's anything but sexy. Yeah. yeah. I mean, it's a little dirty, if anything. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's been, it's been sitting out uh, beside my son's house for a while, uh, probably I'd say six or seven dust storms worth. Um, we are going to give it uh, a transplant that's going to get a new heart. We're going to put an Acura TSX engine in it, and then we're going to supercharge it. Supercharge it. Anyway, uh, welcome to this episode of VTech Academy. We're getting going. I've had this engine in and out a few times. I'm going to try and remember the sequence for doing it. Uh, we've already actually drained the oil and the uh, uh, coolant out of the car. Uh, typically what I do is I start on the underside of the engine so we're gonna lift it up in the air and try to do all the things on the underside so usually that entails removing the exhaust removing the axles removing the lower subframe uh, then it'll just be hanging by the left and right mounts uh, once we do that we're gonna put it back down on the ground disconnect everything from the top we should be able to just lift it right off thing two wires the charge harness yeah. yeah one thing two wires so this is actually the k2083 that came in this car we wound up replacing a head gasket because it had overheated uh, and for some odd reason I put a type R uh, integral type R manifold on it so I'm gonna pull that puppy off and uh, and save it uh, the engine was always idling a little rough so I don't think it was uh, uh, you know quite healthy we'll uh, let me wind up just stashing off the side and checking it out. Uh, the transmission, let's see if it has an LSD. It does not. Uh, I would like to put one with an LSD in it. The engine or transplanting in here is a K24A2 out of the TSX Type S. Uh, we happen to have a Jackson Racing Supercharger, and my goal is, while using the Jackson Racing Supercharger, is to get 400 horsepower out of it. Uh, anyway, next step is uh, set up our new radiator intercooler setup. We're actually running an intercooler on a Jackson Racing Supercharger, and then we're gonna put it all back together. So, 
The engine we're going to be putting in our RSX is this one right here. This is a K24A2 out of an Acura TSX. This one has a long history with Hasport. It's been in a lot of our cars. Most recently, it's been in our Project CRZ. Uh, you can see it's got the drive-by-wire throttle body on it. We actually modified this to accept that throttle body. We're going to go ahead and go back so we can put the RSX style throttle body on it. Uh, but basically, when this was in the CRZ, it was making 385 horsepower. Now, the reason I was able to do that is because of this little device right here. If you look down here at the bottom, you can see these little snorkels coming out here. And what these are, are ports to bring the charged air out of the supercharger into an intercooler and then back in again to the actual plenum. This device will be for sale fairly soon, but this is what made it all possible. Now, I've actually designed a special intercooler for this particular car. If you look right over here. This is a radiator and intercooler combination I made specifically for the RSX. It's actually also going to fit EG, DC2, EK, and it combines both the radiator and the intercooler into one single unit. Now it's got a cross flow radiator, so it's dual pass, and it has uh, the outlets for the intercooler underneath on the bottom for a more compact package, we'll say. Anyway, this is what's going on the RSX. I'm hoping this time to get about 400 horsepower out of it because I'm going to be switching to E85. E85 has a cooler charge. It should be a little more complementary to the hot air charge that's coming out of our RSX supercharger and hopefully we'll get more horsepower. Hey guys, thanks a lot for joining us here on BTEC Academy. If you'd like to follow us, you can follow us on Facebook at VTech Academy, Instagram at VTech Academy, or if you want to help support us, you can uh, head on over to our website, vtechacademy.com, and buy a t shirt. That's how we support uh, our project cars. 18 bucks shipped, can't really beat it. Good quality, and uh, other than that, I think this motor's ready to go in. Can you put it in? I want to drive it home tonight. Yeah. Okay, thanks.